All right, we got Zahid Valencia. We're here at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. Zahid, you're here for camp. Um, talk to us a little bit about the focuses on camp, specifically what today looked like for you guys. Yeah, I mean, today was awesome. I know for me, I have to develop uh, more of my top game, uh, my body game. So going with these Greco guys, really filling out those positions, you know, my guts, uh, defending, defending guts. Uh, and then just that body positioning on the on the upper body, especially with these Iranians, that I'm gonna have to start wrestling guys like Izdani getting the underhook. So just really toning in on my technique and focusing on that. It's been it's been a great a great first day for me here with Greco. It's interesting how the two styles can really complement each other, especially today. I was talking with one of the coaches. Greco's focusing on staying in the underhook. Freestyle's focusing on getting out of it. Can you just yeah. talk about what it was like having those different um, like mindsets, I guess, for practice today? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good to get into the head of like Greco and stuff, especially as a freestyle wrestler. You get, you get different feels, and I think you're always just trying to grow. So, you know, staying, staying stagnant or staying at the, the same thing to do every day, um, I don't think you could grow it and experience you know, the type of wrestlers and wrestling. So I think it's very helpful, you know, uh, looking at it both ways, you know, trying to get out of it and then trying to get back into it and like, like exposing, you know, their weaknesses. So I think it's been good. So for you moving forward, you said you kind of need to focus on your top game a little bit. What are some ways, I know you guys aren't going to practice Greco every time, but what are some ways that you're hoping to focus on that, whether it's partners or? Yeah, it's partners. Uh, I mean, I went with Kamal Bay today. I mean, uh, that was awesome, you know, his, his lips, his, his guts, you know, he's so, so strong, he's so technically strong. And, uh, in the turning, uh, turning the guts, going from one way to another. And on his defense in the bottom, you know, I have a, I feel like I have a pretty good gut, but his hips are just so crazy, and so just running the state tight and everything. So just using everyone in the room, making sure I grab different partners and good. Yeah. Let's talk about you wrestling-wise the past few months. We haven't seen you since Olympic trials, so what has it looked like for you? I mean, just training, trying to get better. Um, it does suck not having, you know, a set date uh, this, these past few months, but now but now we have the Uregan coming up and then Rome after that, so really dialing down, uh, focusing, getting, trying to get big, uh, strong, uh, keep my speed, so... You know, I'm excited for uh, these next couple of months. Yeah, expand on that a little bit. You just mentioned the Oregon, the Pelicone. What does the that travel schedule look like for you? Yeah, I think so. I think I leave the 23rd of this month, uh, compete 26 at, uh, in Russia at the Oregon. Uh, never been, uh, so I'm excited. You know, a bunch of one, two Russians are going to be there. I'm going to head it back to Rome for the third year in a row, uh, straight from Russia. Um, I would that tournament. Uh, it's going to be fun. And then, See, see where I'm at from there and then work on whatever I have to work on when I come back, uh, getting focused and ready for you know, ultimately the end of the year, uh, end of the season really going to... Uh, the when was the last time you uh, competed overseas? It would be Poland. I don't know what that was. It was like uh, four, four months ago. Itching to get back out there yeah, then I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's just do a quick little um, personal life update. Uh, update us on what's been going on for you. Um, well, I'm married now. As yeah. Of October uh, 23rd, so you know I'm happy. It's been awesome. Uh, crazy to say that I have a wife, but you know it's so much fun. Uh, I still have my, my dogs that I love. Uh, domesticated now, you know, <laughs> living the right lifestyle. So you know it's it's just amazing. I Good. Love it. Good. Well, thanks for the update. Congratulations. Thank you.